So what we learn? We learn about aromatic hydrocarbons. What is aromatic hydrocarbons? Aromatic hydrocarbons are those type of hydrocarbons which have some aroma, which have some pleasant smell, which have some distinctive smell is known as aromatic hydrocarbons. Okay. And these aromatic hydrocarbons are further classified into two categories. The first one is benzenide hydrocarbons and the next one is non-benzenide hydrocarbons. So what is benzenide hydrocarbons? In this, benzenide hydrocarbons, at least one benzene uh, ring structure required in its chemical structure. Okay. And what about non-benzenide? Non-benzenide is those type of hydrocarbon in which benzene structure is not necessary. Okay. And here, here benzene, at least one benzene ring structure is required in its chemical structure. Okay. See the example here. The first one, the benzene, which is also known as phenyl hydrate. Okay. And what is the formula for this benzene? C6H6. Okay. So see, this is the structure of benzene. In benzene structure, we have to put double bond in an alternate way. Okay. See here. Here it is double bond, here single. Here it is double, here single. Here it is double, here single. Like this. Okay. And every carbon required four bond to complete their octet tool. Okay. See here, this carbon, two bond here, one bond here, so one hydrogen required. Here also, one here, two here, so one hydrogen required. Okay, here also, uh, two here and one here, so one hydrogen required. Here also, so alternate way, two bond and single bond. Two bond, single bond, we should put here. Okay, it is different from the hexene. Okay, this is not a hexene. Why? Because in hexene, only double bond can be possible between two carbon atoms, but here it is a alternate way we have to put double bond okay so this is a different one see the other example which is nothing but a toluene okay and what is the formula for toluene is c7h8 okay and this is the other name methyl benzene is the other name of this toluene okay and what is the use of this toluene tnt what is uh, what is tnt basically what is the full form of tnt tri nitro toluene this is the full form okay which is an explosive material you can say that this is explosive material okay TNT and see this is the uh, structure of what toluene here it is uh, one benzene why because in the formula of benzenoid sorry in the definition of benzenoid it considered as uh, one benzene should require at least one benzene should require in its chemical structure okay see here Double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. Okay. So this look like benzene only. Okay. And one methyl should be up. What is methyl basically? So if you know this thing, methyl. What do you mean by the word methyl here? Okay. So methyl have one formula which are basically comes from alkyl group. Okay. And what is the formula? Cn H2N plus 1. Okay, so by this easily you can get methyl. Okay, see how suppose meth is placed in first, right? So at the place of N simply we can write 1. So C 1 H 2 into 1 becomes 2. So 2 into 1 plus 1, this one. So C 1 then H 2 into 1 becomes 2 plus 1, 3. So CH3. CH3 is nothing but what? One methyl. Okay. This is what? Methyl. Okay. And this we have to put one methyl. One methyl is CH3. See here. One C is there and three H is there. So this is, this part is one methyl and this part is one benzene. Okay. So methyl benzene which is C7H8 which is nothing but a toluene and this is the structure of this methyl benzene. Understand? See, the non-benzenoid hydrocarbons, these also have uh, so many uses like in pharmacy you can use, in antibacterial you can use, in anti-cancer drugs you can use, okay? And see the examples of this thing, azulene, okay? What is azulene basically? Azulene is a hydrocarbons which didn't have 
any like benzene ring structure in its chemical structure. Okay. See how? See here. Double bond, single bond. Double bond, double bond, single bond. Double, double bond, single bond. Double bond, single bond. But, but what about these? This one is extra, no? Why? Because here, seven carbons are there. In benzene, only six carbons are there. So, easily we can um, identify this thing. This is, this can't be considered as benzene, okay? In its ring structure. So, this is a different structure. See, this also, uh, tropopolyne. So, what is tropolone? What is tropolone basically? Tropolone is nothing but C7H6O2, okay? And see the structure like this. Here also, how many carbon is there? Seven carbon, okay? But for benzene, we required how many carbon? Six, okay? So, this also can't be considered, okay? And see here, double one, double one, double one, here one extra is there, okay? That's why it can't be considered as benzenoid and it is, it can be considered as non-benzenoid hydrocarbons, okay? So, this is the extra knowledge. Why? Because this is not in your syllabus. If you want to uh, um, draw the structure, then easily you can take a screenshot from there. Now, the next topic, we will discuss about what? Isomer. What is isomer, guys? What is isomer? Isomer means what? Isomer is a combination of two words. Iso means what? Same. And mer means unit. So those type of molecules which have same molecular formula and different arrangements is known as isomers. Okay. So in the form of definition you can write isomers are molecules that have same molecular formula but have different arrangement of their atoms. Okay. See the examples. Suppose if you are talking about normal benzene. So that is represented by N butane. Okay. And suppose if you are talking another one is isobutane. So first we have to identify the formula of this one, butane, normal butane. So normal butane is nothing but C4 H10, okay. So the uh, formula is same for both the cases, either it will be normal or isobutane, okay. So C4 H10, see here, same molecular formula, so it means molecular formula are same, same molecular formula but different arrangements. Okay. So, formula will be same for both cases. See, normal in a straight chain like this. Okay. And what about iso? Structure will be different. Okay. Suppose here, four carbons are there. So, one, two, three, you can write simply and one you put so, 1 methyl should be down or up from the second left or from the second right carbon. Okay. So, 1 methyl is what? Just now we discussed CH3 is a 1 methyl. Okay. So, this is 1 methyl. Like this arrangement, since it is a case of in. So, simply you can write 3, 1. So, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen for all the cases. 
how how many hydrogen there for this carbon here okay now count how many hydro hydrogen is there so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like this this is a piece of isobutylene so many different different structures are there see just like that see one two three four you can draw like this also so different structure different arrangements see about this carbon one bond here then three here hydrogen 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 like this for this two here one here so simply you can write here also here also you can write here also you can write what about these carbon these carbon also have three bond like this these carbon also have three bond like this so arrangement will be different and molecular formula are the same that is the proper that property is known as what isomers okay same unit same molecular formula but arrangements of their atoms are different in the space okay so let's discuss about so let's see the other example okay like isopentane iso pentane and left hand side normal pentane so what is the formula for these two normal pentane is what c5 h2 right and here also same why because it is a case of same molecular formula so c5 h12 but structure will be different so same molecular formula with different structure okay so draw the structure here how many c is there four so i find so simply 1 2 3 4 okay and uh, one more carbon is there so easily you can write here also here also it's depend upon your choice okay so here also you can write other thing like here also you can write again here also you can write okay so so many different different structures are there and what about normal pentane only one straight chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 since it is a case of single bond so in every case single bond can be formed hydrogen 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 like this how many hydrogen is there total 12 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay this is normal one and see here here we have to put three hydrogen here here three hydrogen 3 3 6 here three hydrogen okay and single single here so here also you can put hydrogen here also you can put hydrogen like this this one is a um isopentane and this one is a normal pentane so what we conclude today what we learn today basically so today we learn three type of structure how many type of structure three type of structure the first one is normal one and the next one is cyclo one and the last one is iso one okay so we can conclude that normal butane iso butane cyc cyclo butane okay so what is the formula c4h10 
here also C4H10. But in the case of cyclo, you have to subtract two hydrogen. So C4H8, two hydrogen less two hydrogen less. Now draw the structure. This one is simple. One, two, three, four, like this. Okay. What about iso? One carbon should be down or up from the second left or from the second right carbon. Okay. Like this. So this one is the second. So you can put here. For this, four. For this, four. For this, four. Like this. Okay. Hydrogen, hydrogen. Here also hydrogen. So how many totals are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. See here also hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. What about the cyclo one? Cyclo one should be in cyclic form like this, single single bond, and hydrogen. How many hydrogen is there? Eight hydrogen, right? So eight hydrogen like this. So, so we covered. Two topics today. How we can find out the uh, structure of uh, with, uh, structure of with the help of alkene and alkyne. Okay, and later we discuss like how we can uh, draw the structure of cyclothenes and isothenes. Okay, so today we cover two topics. The first one is hydrocarbon, and the second one is isomers. So in next class we will cover the electron dot structure and so many topics are there we will cover in next class okay thank you so much